What's going on family? Robert here. So in our common vernacular, if we use the term sacrifice, what it means is to give up something that we want, that we desire, that we need, ultimately for something greater. And here, as we continue to look through the blessings that Jacob offered to his 12 sons, we come to the fact that sacrifice is required to be a leader. Sacrifice is a requirement in being a leader. Genesis 49, beginning at verse 8, says these words. Judah, your brothers shall praise you. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's son shall bow down before you. Judah is a lion's cub. And from the prey, my son, you have gone up. He stooped down. He crouched as a lion, and as a lioness, who dares rouse him? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until tribute comes to him, and to him shall be the obedience of the peoples, binding his fowl to the vine, and his donkey's colt to the choice vine. He has washed his garments in wine, and his vesture is in the blood of grapes, his eyes are darker than wine and his teeth whiter than milk. Now we come to the fourth son, the fourth born son of Judah and Leah. And that is the son called of Leah and Jacob. And that is the son called Judah. Judah, whose name means praise, was a son who was selfish and wanted his own way. He was the son who was the ringleader in selling Joseph, their youngest brother, into slavery. But then he was also changed and convicted by the righteousness of his daughter-in-law Tamar after he would not give her his, his youngest son. And after that, we see a change in the life of Judah. We see going from being selfish to being selfless or even sacrificial. So much so that when they went to Egypt to ask for food, he promised that he would bring Benjamin back to Jacob, his father, and that if he didn't, he could be held accountable for him. And even when Jacob was about to be thrown in prison, he went and offered up himself as opposed to his younger brother, Benjamin. Brothers and sisters, I see the transformation in the life of Judah, and this blessing is just a reflection of that transformation. Judah went from being selfish to being a sacrifice for others. And that is the definition of leadership. Leadership is sacrificial. To be a good leader, we must sacrifice for those who are, who we are leading and those behind us. We must sacrifice for our families. We must sacrifice for our friends. We must sacrifice for our coworkers, ultimately, so that we can all progress and do well together. Judah went on to be the, the, in the lineage of King David, and in the lineage, ultimately, of the Messiah. That's why the text says a scepter will never depart from his hands. And we see that because just as Judah was sacrificial, his ancestor who would come, Jesus, sacrificed his life for you and for me. And the Bible says that as a result of his sacrifice, God has elevated him to a name that is above every name, that by his name every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. I want to encourage us that lead people, that lead households, that lead churches, that our responsibilities as leaders is to be sacrificial, to sacrifice what we want for the benefit and the blessings of others. So with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, Thank you for Judah, for the transformation in his life and for his example of sacrifice as shown through David and ultimately through Jesus. Help us to be ones who will sacrifice 
for our family, sacrifice for our friends, sacrifice on our jobs for your glory. Lord, we love you, we praise you, and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So thank you for studying with me as we continue to walk through the blessings provided from Jacob and Jacob provided to his sons. God bless.